version 22 has brought a substantial upgrade to the paneling tools for Panel a Complete Mesh. In the past, uh, the mesh number of panels was defined by the mesh uh, density, and that had to be a divisible number. So to demonstrate this, I've got uh, the same mesh here, and I'm simply going to split the mesh up into a number of panels. So we'll start with two, and then we'll do three, And you can see here, um, the, I've expanded this window in the part that the first panels were three meters wide, which would be no good if you were using um, uh, two and a half meter wide fabric. And here I'm going to panel diagonally. And again, this is a substantial improvement. Previously, any diagonal uh, seams would always have a seam in the middle, so the panels would have to be e an even number. Now we can have an odd number. This new tool is particularly useful for structures like barrel vaults. In the past, uh, it was most often more efficient to use uh, cross sections to determine the correct number of panels. Now we can very quickly uh, panel and decide this is outside fabric width. So I'll just change this to four panels and repeat the process. So now we know this is going to fit inside our fabric width. And similarly, if we want to panel across the mesh, we might use five panels and it's all fully automatic.